open blender, delete the default scene, add a cube, go into edit mode, and then add a loop cut to the cube, and delete half part of the cube. Now go back into object mode, and go into modifiers, add a mirror modifier, cool. Now go into edit mode again, and add a horizontal loop cut to the cube, and then select half part of the front face and move it forward, so that it should look like the front end of the car. Now for the back side of the car, extrude thrusters like shape. You can shape the car however you like. Now for the windows and lights, extrude some faces of the cube, and then scale the extruded faces, and inset the faces to give some depth to the windows and lights. And due to the mirror modifier, the changes we do to one side will also affect other side in symmetry. Also add a cylinder for door knobs. Now give some depth to the thrusters. Now for the materials, go into edit mode. Add new material and then select the parts for which you want to assign that material. Also rename the materials names for your understanding. For the window material, select the window faces, and assign a new material. In the principal BSDF, increase the specular, and decrease the roughness, and give the IOR values as 1.33. Also change the blend mode to alpha blend. For the lights, select the light faces, and assign a new material to it. Add an emission shader, and change the color, and strength of emission shader. Enable the bloom, and screen space reflection, if you are using EV renderer. Do the same for thrusters materials. Now for some surface imperfections, split the window, open shader editor, select the car material, and add a noise texture. With the mapping, and texture coordinates nodes, connect the noise texture output, to the roughness of principal BSDF, and change some values of the noise texture, to achieve the surface imperfections of a metal. Extrude some propellers like shapes, to give a futuristic look for the car. You can add or delete anything in the car as you like, it depends on how you want the car to look like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel consider subscribing. And hit the bell icon for the latest videos. Now for some variations in the cars. 
duplicate the car, and apply cast modifier to it. This cast modifier displaces the car, in XYZ direction without destroying the main shape of the car. You can play with the directions and the shape for which the cast modifier is displacing the cars, to get more variations in the cars. You can change the color of cars and lights, however you like. Add environment texture in the world setting and find HDRI image for the scene. This HDRI image provides lighting and reflection in the scene. Now for the exhaust trail of the car, select the thrusters faces and assign it, to a new vertex group. Go to particles, and add particle system to the car, then select the vertex group of the thrusters in the particle vertex group, so that the particles emit from that vertex group. Add an icosphere, and give it an emission shader. In the render setting of the particles, change halo particles, to object, and select Icosphere in the object menu in the particles. modifier, so that the exhaust trail should be in both side of the thrusters. Lastly add wind force field at the thrusters position. Parent it to the car, tweak the strength of the wind force field, so that the particles look like trail in the scene. 